Hi, this is Mr. Cordes, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to piece together our body paragraphs for the necklace. We are also going to make sure that we have a quality three-sentence intro with a thesis statement. Um, we have conducted this before with our last essay for Of Mice and Men. As we go into the necklace right now, we are piecing things together. Um, at this point, based upon our last session, you have already completed these five sentences right here in relation to what's required as well as your theme, okay? We had identified uh, two out of the three themes. We had selfish, greedy, and prideful. You picked two, and that's what your body paragraphs are going to be about. So you have one body paragraph here, which is maybe about selfishness. The second body paragraph, maybe that's about greed, or maybe that's about prideful. Which, whichever combination you have, you now have two body paragraphs, okay? On this piece of paper or on a new document, when you write out your body paragraphs, you're only going to be uh, putting these five sentences. Um, by doing that, you're not creating the grid. Uh, this grid is uh, and or table is just used to help organize. So you can see, okay, where's my concrete detail? Here, here it is. My commentary, this shows that, here it is. So this, the grid that you see in front of you, this entire block thing, table thing, is for organization. When you go to write it out, will you please make sure that you've got your quality sentences in a, in a normal paragraph, just like normal. We're gonna make sure that we've got Times New Roman 12 point font, double line spacing at zero. Um, we we wanna make it sure it's formatted properly, okay? One of the biggest things though, before we, I mean, we've got our two body paragraphs, now we need to write our intro, okay? So I'm gonna come up over here and I'm going to, uh, insert a table. Please pause the video and set this up on your paper so that you can follow along through the video. I'm going to insert a table and I'm essentially make it two columns and we only have three sentences. So I'm going to have three sentences. Okay. So just like this, this is going to be our intro. I'm actually going to move this over just to create a little bit more room. There's three things, just like we did for Of Mice and Men, um, we've got, uh, the same components, sorry. You've got the same components for your intro. The reason why we are slowly going through this writing process is because I really want you to do it well before you can, um, build and make things bigger, make things longer. So sure. Is a set, is an intro paragraph supposed to be five sentences? Absolutely. Are we to that point yet? Yes. Nope. We're not. Sorry. Let me back up. Stop. Rewind. We are not at that point where I want us to write all of these sentences and have them be poorly done. Okay. I'm all about walking slowly, learning how to run and then running fast. So by the end of the year, we'll be writing uh, anywhere from a five to seven or 10 sentence introduction. Right now we're looking at three. Okay. So there's three things that go into your introduction. You, the, the first thing that we're going to look at is the author and title of our story. Okay, you need to introduce that in a general concept. Usually you'll have uh, some sort of a quick synopsis um, uh, for the story. So putting into a sentence, you've got two things that you already know. You have uh, the necklace is the short story. Okay, it is a short story, so that's fine. Oops, hit the wrong button. Necklace. Okay. But then you also have uh, Guy de Maupassant. Okay. That's our author, Guy de Maupassant. And you would have essentially a general um, description of the story. Okay. Nothing in this moment, nothing in this first or second sentence is going to do with anything for our themes. Okay. So you're not going, you are not going to say the necklace by Guy de Maupassant is about a woman who is selfish. No, you're going to tell me that the necklace by Guy de Maupassant um, is a tragic story with a twist ending. Okay. Uh, the necklace by Guy de Maupassant shows how people desire to be in a different social class. Uh, the necklace by Guy de Maupassant, or let's switch it up. Guy de Maupassant wrote the short story, The Necklace, about a young girl um, and a piece of jewelry. Look at that, okay? Piecing those things together, 
is going to help you um, one one sentence, right? What what is the one thing that you're you're wanting to say about the author and the title? Okay, take a moment, write out your uh, author and title sentence. Pause if you need to. And now our goal is to introduce the characters. Okay. For us, we're dealing with Mademoiselle. Okay. Mademoiselle is our protagonist. She's the one that we track with. There are other characters. Um, Mr. Wiesel. There is uh, Madame Foyce. Um, th those are the two components right there or excuse me, those are the two characters right there who are a part of the story. They're not like the main part. Obviously, the husband reacts to his wife, but Madam, Mademoiselle, oops, Mademoiselle is our main character. And what we want to do is introduce who she is as a person, not introduce the theme that we are uh, illustrating through her, okay? So we don't want to say Mademoiselle is selfish and greedy. That doesn't tell us anything about who she is as a person. Mademoiselle uh, is the is in the middle class who dreams about being in the upper class, right? Mademoiselle desires for people to give her attention, right? Mademoiselle is the protagonist who has an unfortunate unfortunate circumstance during the story. Okay, you want to add something about her character, not necessarily give away that you're talking about these two themes. All right, take a moment. Go ahead and write your uh, character, character sentence, please, where you introduce her. Now that you've had a chance to do that, we are going to go on to our thesis statement. And if you remember, the thesis statement is, um, thesis statement is the point you're trying to prove. Okay. The point you're trying to prove. Now, just like we did for Of Mice and Men, I gave you the blanks to fill in. Here, it's going to be super straightforward um, and, and um, very direct. Okay. The reason why is because we just need to make sure that we are articulating our ideas well. When we go on to future stories, you're going to be crafting your own thesis, making it extremely creative. Right now, straightforward, direct, and assertive. So we have our character. Mademoiselle, okay, and from that, Mademoiselle, you need to pick one of these verbs. I need you to pick one of them. Don't write all three, pick one. So Mademoiselle illustrates, Mademoiselle demonstrates, Mademoiselle shows. You need to identify one of those um, verbs. Okay. Pick one of those, please. And now straightforward, direct, and assertive, Mademoiselle verb, the themes of blank and blank throughout the short story. You don't need to give any recap. You don't need to inform what, what happens. No plot details. You've already offered a little bit of plot in this sentence, you probably did it, uh, you alluded to what happens in the story in your introduction. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is where we identify the themes. So the themes that you picked, the theme that you wrote right here, and the theme that you wrote right here are going to be placed in these two spaces. So Mademoiselle demonstrates the themes of selfishness and greed throughout the short story. Mademoiselle shows the theme of pridefulness and uh, selfishness throughout the short story, okay? Take a moment, fill in your thesis statement. Now, one of the biggest items is that you need to look back through these three sentences and notice anything that's being repeated or sounds awkward. So if I use the word short story up here, I really can't use the short story again because then I'm repeating myself, okay? So I need to identify. So if I said the necklace is a short story by Guy de Maupassant, which tells the tale of jewelry, uh, the tragic tale of missing jewelry, um, 
that right there, if I'm going to need to take out short story so I could leave it over here. Okay, same with Mademoiselle. Um, Mademoiselle is used twice. We've got it here and we've got it here. That's acceptable. Okay, because we are identifying who, who she is as a, as a character for our story. Okay. So looking at all of this, please make sure that you have those three sentences. You also have these five sentences for each body paragraph. So as total, you'll have 13 sentences for this essay. Um, go on to a blank document and you can take over these sentences and put them in order. Should have this one, author and title first, then you've got this one, then you've got your thesis statement. You're going to create a new paragraph by indenting, and then you'll go and you'll write these five sentences, indent your next paragraph, then you'll write these five sentences. Okay. If you're confused or um, uh, put how to format them on your paper, go back to the Of Mice and Men video in which uh, was used for setting up that candy paragraph that I showed you. Or if you're still lost and can't find that video, come on over to me, message me, and we will get through how to set this up, okay? This right here, ladies and gentlemen, has been your intro and thesis statement. Super simplistic, yet direct in its literary analysis, so that's why we want to keep it. Um, also right here, you've got your body paragraphs. So at this point, all we have to do is go through and double check everything, and then we're set, all right? Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. I'll talk to you guys later.